All right, guys, how's it going? Now, this video is going to be about Martin Thubamende. Uh, the clue is in the title of the video, so we don't need you to comment in the, you know, the video saying, I don't want to know about Thubamende, because you didn't need to watch the video. You didn't need to click on it, did you? You know what I'm saying? All right. So uh, he's just had uh, a press conference or just held a press conference, if you like, uh, with the Spain national side, um, uh, which got me thinking about just uh, raising some... Um, uh, you know, some, some opinion or some news, if you like, uh, regarding him, which I was going to touch on this week, but I haven't got round to it yet. And I was like, oh, yeah, I haven't mentioned Duba Mendy. I should have said today when I did my uh, newspaper review, uh, the Spanish football dailies here behind me, uh, I did that earlier. <clears throat> there was nothing in there about Duba Mendy. It just totally slipped my mind um, because the British media want you to think that he uh, is a target for Manchester City. That actually originates from the Spanish media. Um, and, you know, they're um, piggybacking on that, if you like. But obviously in the UK, it's, you know, far more intense, far more dramatic. Uh, you know, they want you to believe that Man City are going to sign him because obviously Man City being linked with players sells newspapers. Um, <clears throat> so he did comment on his on his future very, very briefly uh, at today's press conference uh, when he said uh, he was talking about his continuity uh, with Real Sociedad and he said, my philosophy is to do what I feel at each moment. The best thing for me is to continue at the club and give the fans a lot of joy. And he's literally said that within the last few minutes, okay? So, when Rodri at Manchester City was injured, you probably thought, mm, they might go for Duba Mendy now, because I thought the same thing. So if you were a journalist, you would also have thought the same thing, and you'd have thought, oh, I could write about that. Let's create a transfer link. Nobody knows if Manchester City have any, any interest in Duba Mendy whatsoever, right? Um, <clears throat> I would be very surprised if he left Real Sociedad mid-season. Like, if he's going to leave them, you'd expect him to leave next summer. But again, he would have to leave with Real Sociedad's blessing, right? This is why he didn't join Liverpool, because he couldn't get that blessing. The relationship was turning sour. He wanted to sign for Liverpool, but he didn't sign for us because... Uh, you know, Real Sociedad got RC, <clears throat> and I don't see him bailing on them mid-season, even if Manchester City go in uh, and try and, um, you know, well, not try, if they trigger uh, that contract uh, buyout clause, not release clause, buyout clause, same, same sort of thing, but it's slightly different. So, um, it was that Spanish uh, website, Relevo, is it? I can never remember what it what it, it's it's relevo, isn't it? Yes. Sometimes I think it's Revelo, it's Relevo. This is a Madrid-based organization owned by a, a huge uh media organization in Spain, which is also based in Madrid. I'm making you aware of that. It's not really relevant to this, but <clears throat> they also keep talking about Trent Alexander Arnold uh and uh, and Real Madrid. So I just want you to know there's a lot of Madrid influence. Uh, just bear that in mind if you ever see uh, Relevo uh, mentioned uh, with Liverpool players. Um, so Relevo made the, made the initial claim that Manchester City are going to go all out, you know, and get him and all that in the January window. And then that's been picked up uh, by the British media. <clears throat> uh, one of the... Um, where have I put it? Folks, uh, here we go. Here, for example, the Mirror newspaper piggybacked onto it. Manchester City are eyeing a move for ex-Liverpool target Martin Dubamendi as they scramble around for a Rodri replacement. Reports in Spain, Relevo, suggest that Real Sociedad playmaker Dubamendi is on their shortlist and City have a plan in place and an effort to sign him in just three months' time. Uh, and they want to take advantage of a 50.3 million pound release clause. Now, Relevo have become somewhat of a um, an organisation that is making a lot of transfer claims. They remind me a bit like Lequip uh, uh, in France. Uh, anyway, that's by the by. But they're, they're I, 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 I don't know. The journalist that keeps, you know, that, me that mentioned Trent Alexander Arnold recently, Real, Sos uh, Real Madrid mouthpiece, writing for. Uh, a Madrid-based organisation, Relevo, owned by one of the biggest media companies in Spain, based in Madrid. So you've got to be careful with what them fuckers say. And basically, there is nothing in, in, in the press today about this. 
I think, again, the British press want you to think that Man City are like all over this, you know, like Real Madrid are all over Trent Alexander Arnold, and this is what's being said in Spain, and it's not. All right, maybe, maybe uh, Manchester City will go in for him. Um, <clears throat> but this player to me seems an exceptionally loyal player to his club. He's obviously born in that region. Wants, he's he's honoured to play for that club. Uh, I think he's been with them since he was nine or something. So the reason for this video is one, just to give you an update on Martin Dubamendi in the you know Manchester City announced supposedly going all out for him. You will have heard that already a couple of days ago. Um, I just haven't got round to it yet. And obviously the latest comments there. Let's just repeat them again. These were said. Well, within the hour, if you like, um, I, I don't know what, whether you can get anything from this. Uh, his continuity with Real Sociedad in response to that being asked at today's press conference with Spain. My philosophy is to do what I feel at each moment. That kind of suggests that, you know, he, he evaluates things as he's going along. Would you agree with that? Uh, which made me think, oh, is he open to something here? And then he said, the best thing for me is to continue at the club and give the fans a lot of joy. Uh, I think I would be surprised if he if he left there uh, in January, would you? W whether that was Man City or Liverpool. Um, there's no suggestion that Liverpool are still interested in him. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure Liverpool would just... I don't know. Like, from a pride point of view, you, you, you and I, as Liverpool supporters, would probably go, nah, fuck, you had your foot. You had your foot. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but I'm not sure that the executives would look at it like that if they could still make it happen. Um, I honestly don't know, to be honest with you. Um, but he remained loyal to his club. But I just, I don't see him uh, leaving mid mid season. And um, he's not a player that's motivated by money. So I don't think that you know. Normally, you might say, yeah, dunk under normal circumstances. But this is Man City that offer him this, that, and the other. I'm not sure he's that kind of player, guys, to be honest with you. All right. Anyway, I just wanted to give you an update on it uh, as to what the latest thing is that he said regarding his status. Uh, and uh, just to point out that if you are seeing the Man City going all out for him, it's coming from that relevo um, in Spain. And I would be cautious with them. All right, guys. I know some of you are not interested. If you're not interested in Martin Dubamendi, the clue is in the title. You didn't have to watch the video. If you appreciate the video, please give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment. Uh, and if you want to buy me a beer for the weekend right, or a coffee for Sunday morning, please hit the super thanks button under the video. Read the video description. There's other ways of supporting me. Uh, there's the social media links, the newsletter, the chat room. It's all in the video description. I will be live with you on here at 2 o'clock and 7 o'clock this evening UK time. Um, I'm going to put this video online and I've got to go now actually. I'm going to go get my hair cut. Um, so I need, to, I need to dash. If I'm not live at 2, uh, two o'clock UK, just hang around 15 minutes extra or something like that. I've just got to get back, all right? Uh, but if I'm on time with my uh, my appointment, I should be okay. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, and I'll speak to you real soon. All right.